Hello everyone, this is Buck WSR Weezer. We're putting the do into do-it-yourself. And today we're looking at a lawnmower of which I know almost nothing. Got no real solid information on it. It belongs to a friend named Tim. He get, just bought himself a house and this mower, used mower, was given to him. Toro Recycler with a Kohler engine. I, uh, I compare these Kohlers to Honda engines. And uh, what I was told, well, Tim wanted to hang with me while we gave it a once-over. He has not attempted to start it. But I decided, uh, since our schedules weren't coinciding, that I would uh, roll film, put it on uh, film, and record a little bit of it to share with Tim and the rest of you. Of course, that is an anachronistic reference because we all know there's no film rolling. This is a purely digital camera all right so I'll tell you just show you what I'm going to do to to give it a once over first initial observations are that we are missing a cover probably a plastic cover here on the uh, on the uh, drive belt mechanism for the self-propelled feature uh, and uh, not sure that's a real big deal but in addition, so yeah, so that looks all right. Belt seams are really a bit loose, but it's hard to tell. There also appears to be an oil spot here or possibly gas leaking. You can see that there. Now I was told that this, that this has sat for two years. I don't see any real evidence of where that would be coming from. The carburetor, of course, is right there. Yeah, that's probably where it's coming from because as I wipe my finger on the bottom of the carburetor I now have a bunch of uh, goo on it so that seems to be leaking and if it's got two-year-old gas in it could be kind of gunked up in there slimy so I'm gonna do a couple of initial things first is I'm going to uh, drain this old gas and get rid of that I'm going to then probably take down the bowl on the bottom of the carburetor as a minimum to just see the condition in there. Gas tends to uh, go bad as it sits. Uh, taking a look right here. All right, so there is oil, but it's registering on the low side. So it could use a little oil, but it's not without oil, and that's good. So let me set you up on the tripod, and we will... Uh, dump that old gas and also drop the bowl on the carburetor. Right, that's probably most of it anyway. All right. Can't tell much from looking at it. Did make a nice mess there, didn't I? Okay, so old gas is out. Let's take a, a look here at this carburetor. Take down the air filter. That could stand to be replaced. And you can see that carburetor has leaked because of the discoloration on this corner of the filter. You know? So that would be down at the bottom here, closer to the carburetor. So that's probably been leaking fuel. We may need to. Uh, clean out or rebuild this carburetor or maybe just replace it a little soon to know so I'm gonna try to take take this big cover which obstructs our view of so much out of the way uh, but not completely take down the carburetor just yet so I gotta grab some 
tools. It's so probably 10 millimeters, indeed. And to take down this assembly, there's also this guy right here that needs to come off. That guy comes out. All right, so that spacer just dropped out. We don't want to lose that. I think that goes back in here right there so we don't want to lose that all right so we got the breather element there also and the the uh, vent for the fuel tank that comes this way and now we're taking a look at the uh, carburetor a little bit more closely All right, so this has the automatic choke feature, and uh, it's got a heat-sensitive spring over by the muffler connected to this rod. And the fact that it's springing back smoothly is a very good sign, because that means that our, our automatic choke, since we've got a cold engine here, the choke plate is closing. Uh, so that part's good. All right, with this guy out of the way, I think what I want to do is remove this bottom bolt, the bottom of the carburetor, to drop the bowl down and take a look at what we have there. Now, a lot of the gas inside that carburetor bowl will come running out once I remove that, loosen that, that nut at the bottom, that bolt, it holds the bowl in. And what I think I'm going to do is use a pair of vice grips to crimp off the uh, well, I don't need to crimp off the fuel line because we already drained the fuel. Sometimes you need to do that if you're working on a mower with fuel still in the tank. Either way, we may have a little bit, so I'll put this towel down there. Now that should be a 10 millimeter at the bottom of the carburetor too. So, okay. So now that fuel's coming out at the bottom there. Dripping out. All right, so I've removed the, just taking a quick look at that. Doesn't look too bad, a little bit rusty. Set him aside. Bowl's not dropping down immediately. Get a screwdriver. I guess maybe we could have tried to catch some of that fuel coming out in a cup or something to look at it more closely. But if it's gummed up in here, I think it'll be pretty obvious. There we go. Now one of the issues here is dropping this bowl. That gasket is breaking and tearing. So that's going to require a new gasket at the very least. Now taking a look inside this bowl, you can see that, probably can't. It, uh, it doesn't look terrible. A little bit of rust at the bottom, but it really doesn't look that bad to me. Clean it out. But I am concerned that this carburetor is leaking. I don't, because of that, that spot on the bottom here of the, on the deck that was already wet. And then touching my finger to the uh, bottom of the carburetor bowl verified that it was in fact leaking. So what I'm gonna try to do is, uh, 
I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is, um, though I don't see a whole lot of evidence of contamination in crud, the fact that the bowl was, that we were getting some gas leaking, and I don't know entirely where, was it leaking out the bottom of this plug? That's entirely possible and probable because the gas gets pretty flattened and worn on the bottom of this. I'm going to see if I've got another Honda style carburetor gasket somewhere and I may just try to uh, put it up there, put some clean gas in it and see what we get. So I'm going to pause the video for now and we'll be back. Well, what I decided to do was to take the carburetor down completely. And uh, to do that, the way I'm going to do it is to uh, take off these two part of this hard bracket that holds the choke assembly. And there's two T Torx T20 screws that hold that in place. There's one, and this guy's right here, the second one. Okay, so that can be moved out of the way, and uh, this connector link will have to get off it here. So that, so we'll just let that hang there. All right, so that, that's loose. I still have the fuel line and the throttle from the governor arm, these right here. So that shouldn't be too terrible. So turn it to full throttle and then that guy lifts out and then there's a small spring beside it which might be easier to grab with needle nose pliers, which you don't have, maybe these will get it. And pull him out. All right, so we'll let that hang there. So at this point, it should just be the fuel line that's holding it there. And I can get that. Needle nose pliers, clamp comes up. Sometimes that few lines kind of stuck on the grab it and twist a little bit. All right, this guy came off. I don't want to lose him. We'll hold on to him. All right, so now the, the carburetor is free and clear of the engine. That'll give me a chance to clean it off, take a better look. If this gasket's compromised. I may have another. So I'm going to go over to the workbench and do a little cleaning while we have the chance. So here's our carburetor. Of course, the bowl's already off. Let's remove the float. Pull out this pin. The float and the needle will come out together. Set them aside. It really doesn't look too bad in here to me. Uh, part of our carburetor bowl gasket is still stuck in there and I'm gonna have to try to pick that out or clean that out I happen to have a new aftermarket Honda carburetor and I may be able to snag the bowl gasket off of this one possibly use that although it seems to be a slightly different style because this is just a, a straight edge where this one is flattened I don't know if it'll work or not might also be able to steal this uh, carburetor plug because it looks better than the one we took off the other one which is all flattened here and probably was where we were leaking 
All right, so let me take a few minutes to clean this up a little bit. I'll use some brake parts cleaner or carb spray just to clean the top off and keep all the gunk and dirt from going inside. All right, this guy cleaned up pretty good. And uh, while we're at it, I thought I would take a screwdriver and remove this main jet. Sometimes it can be impossible to get out, but I think this guy's coming out without too much trouble. And we'll be able to clean a uh, Just about there. Grab them somehow. Okay, so my video camera battery was going as I was pulling out that main jet. So while charging it up, I cleaned out that jet with some brake cleaner, brake parts cleaner. And uh, I did re th then I put the carburetor back together, put the needle and float back in. I was able to use the gasket from that other aftermarket carburetor, which I had laying around. I'm not convinced it's perfect, but we're going to give it a try. And I used the, the uh, new bolt that had a nice, a better gasket than the previous one. I think that might be where we were leaking previously. So now it's about putting this back on the machine, adding some clean fuel, and seeing what we get. So I'll do that, and, and we'll test it out together. All right, so I put the carburetor back up, but for tem I temporarily bolted it up without this air cleaner assembly because once you put this on, it obscures your view of the carburetor. And I want to be able to see it to verify that A, it's not leaking, that B, the automatic choke is working as it should. And uh, so I thought I will fire it up at first with uh, this Apart from it so let's add a little bit of fuel here and uh, we'll see if it'll start for us that should be enough All right. put the cap on And uh, keep your fingers crossed. Taking a look so far. Not seeing any leaking. And it's time to fire it up. I've got another video on the... Uh, automatic on the Kohler automatic choke system and I'll, I'll link to that at the end of the video if you want to check that out it's a pretty good system doesn't always work too well but all right here we go you know what else I noticed and I'm gonna do something about it right now I feel like these uh, Cover bolts aren't as tight as they should be. I noticed that earlier and I didn't do anything about it. Yet. 
Sometimes that's a good idea. So I will open the choke. Just put a little bit of that in there. You see it's running of course and uh, but surging and it improves when I either a hold the throttle open or close the choke plate uh, forcibly close the choke plate uh, so it sounds to me like it's not getting enough fuel it's getting fuel but that that surging is and and running better with the choke closed is often an indication that the carburetor is not as clean as it needs to be, or it's just not getting enough fuel. It's getting more air than it needs and not enough fuel. Now, it hasn't run in several years. Maybe it will clean itself out. I could start it up again, spray some carb spray in there to clean it. Uh, I, I cleaned it pretty thoroughly when I had it down. So, worst case scenario is, uh, you know, maybe replacing that carburetor to begin with. Well, let me play around with it a little bit, try to clean it while it's running with some carb spray, see if maybe I can get it to run a little more smoothly. Like right now, it's not adequate. That's just, that surging is just intolerable. All right, so let me work on that a little bit and I'll let you know what I find out. Okay, everyone, well, I had, uh, I'll tell you what I did, since my camera battery was not cooperating yesterday, so, off camera I went and replaced the this is the jet the main jet that goes up the center of the uh, carburetor and this is I I had that other aftermarket carburetor so I just took the jet out of that one and installed it in the old carburetor so this is the old jet and I'm thinking that it's going to run a little bit better now so let's see if we can give it a shot Yeah, so that feels pretty good. Sounds sounds much uh, more smooth. It's not surging or hunting as it was before. And I uh, already put the air cleaner cover back on. I apologize for not being able to show you every part of that carb cleaning because my camera battery died. Alternately, instead of cleaning the carburetor or if you don't want to even mess with that you can just replace the carburetor I saw you can get the uh, genuine Kohler for about 40 bucks online and then there's some aftermarket ones on eBay for less than $15 so I think uh, I think my friend's gonna be back in business and we didn't actually have to 
even spend a dime on, on this repair since I had some of those parts available. I thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.